So let's talk about some other RHCSA test taking techniques. Uh, first, you should read all questions first. Now why is that? That is for the very simple reason, because there are some dependencies. Imagine that on question number one, they are asking create a petition. On question number five, they are asking create another petition. And on question number 10, they are asking create a logical volume. Oops. On question number 10, you figured out that you don't have any more disk space available. If you would have read all the questions first, you could have analyzed the dependencies between those questions and you could have answered all of them uh, together just to prevent that you are getting into trouble. So make sure to read all questions uh, first and to understand what the question uh, means. Uh, you are all from the New York area, so I guess your primary language is English. Uh, if you uh, master another language, another tip that I have for you is to, uh, to switch the language. Uh, always take English as a primary language for the questions, because uh, the English language is monitored uh, the best, because most people take the exam in English. But if you are from France uh, or from Italy, the questions are available in French, in Italian, in German and in Spanish and some other languages as well. And if you do not understand the English language question, you might better understand the other language question. So switch language, switch back, and that may give you a better insight in what exactly uh, they, uh, they, they mean by the question. Uh, so after you have read all the questions first, uh, you should start with the essential questions. Uh, please notice that even before the questions, there's an introduction and the introduction is essential as well. So the very first uh, page of information that you are reading to get through the exam uh, is considered essential. Uh, read it carefully. Please do that. Because what happens, many people, uh, when they start the exam, they see introduction and they click next because what do you normally do? You skip the introduction, right? You work with software and there is never anything interesting in the introduction. So you just skip it and you go to the real stuff and then you start reading the questions and you don't understand what you need to do because you miss the introduction. Please read the introduction as well. Uh, after reading the introduction, you can start with the essential questions. Now, what is an essential question? Well, let me give you an example. We have question number one, which is uh, configure access to a repository. We have question number two, which is install an Apache web server. Which of the two is the essential question? Number one, of course, because how can you install an Apache web server if you didn't configure the repository uh, before? Uh, let me give you another example. Question number one is create a petition and mount it on slash data. Question number two is uh, create a directory slash data slash groups and on the slash groups give permissions to the group uh, whatever. Which is the essential question? Well, create the petition of course, because if you didn't create the petition, you would be creating uh, the, the subdirectory in the wrong environment. So try to be aware of the relation of the dependency between those questions. Uh, pick the low hanging fruit first. You will read through some of the as assignments and you will have some questions that you know the answer immediately. If you know it immediately, answer it immediately. Uh, because, uh, yeah, if you answer it immediately, your mind is still bright in the beginning of the exam, so you will do it perfectly and you won't have a problem with that. And if you get all of those out of the way, you can continue on the questions that really are important. Uh, the questions that are eating up more of your exam time. And finish with everything else. That everything else is after the low-hanging fruit. Uh, let's hope that you've got a lot of low-hanging fruit and the everything else is just one or two questions.